move on. <laughs> Hello and uh, welcome. Uh, this is episode one of hopefully many. We'll see how I get on. Um, sorry if it's awkward. <laughs> I try not to be awkward but uh, this is the first one that I've done and um, it is going to seem a little bit awkward until I get into the swing of things I'm sure. Uh, so this is a knitting and spinning, sometimes crochet um, podcast and um, I just thought that I would put myself out there. Uh, I watch quite a few um, of you guys on YouTube and um, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to do that because I think it would be good just for myself to see um, the things that I have made as time goes on and how my knitting has progressed and um, my spinning has progressed because that was something that I started this year. Uh, this is Vinny, um, so we may be a puppy interrupted. Um, uh, he's quite a vocal dog, <laughs> but we love him. Yes. So um, let's just, oh, I've got dog spit on my face now, let's just uh, dive right in um, with what I'm wearing. So this is the Andrea Maori uh, stone crop um, pullover and it is my first ever completed garment. I've knitted plenty of hats, I've knitted baby jumpers and cardigans and things, um, but never a full human size I was gonna say adult sized um, jumper and this is the first time I'm ever wearing it and I love it it's amazing <laughs> um, I don't want to wear it all the time because I don't want to I don't want it to wear out ever I don't want it to ever look worn out but I thought I would wear it with pride. So we've been on a walk today with this little one and uh, it's a pretty cold day here and it's kept me very warm. So uh, I didn't say where I'm where I'm videoing this from. So, um, oh, oh my name, I didn't introduce myself. <laughs> okay, let's start again. So my name is Wendy and um, I go by the name House Label Fibers on Ravelry and Instagram. Um, and I'm coming to you from the east coast of Scotland. I live by the sea. I can see the sea from, from where I'm videoing from. Um, very lucky to where, live where we live. It is beautiful. And yes, obviously I'm not Scottish. I'm not from here originally. We moved here two years ago and um, it was the best decision ever. We moved from Manchester, which is where I'm from originally. Moved here with this one um, and also uh, my husband. And yeah, so we live on a... Oh, are you okay? <laughs> We live um, on a studying, like a working farm, and uh, it's not, it's not, we, we aren't farmers, um, but we uh, are surrounded by sheep and cows. So, yeah. Uh, so, what I am working on. Um, I'm working on another Andrea Maori um, jumper, the Weekender. Now, I have been off work this week as a holiday, so I just had a staycation and I started this on Tuesday, Tuesday evening, it's now Sunday, Sunday the 17th of November 2019 um, and I have done a lot, so it seems like it's quite big but um, it's inside out because it has this seam that goes down the front and the back, like reverse stockinette. Um, knitting them on 5.5s, which I don't know what they are in US. Um, but yeah, so, and I'm enjoying it, even though it is just 
stockinette but then obviously you turn it inside out and that's really the outside and that's the inside. Um, I've done up to the collar on the front and did short rows uh, for the shaping for the sleeves, uh, sorry for the shoulder and I'm just up to the shaping for the shoulder on the back and then I presume just pick up for the sleeves. I was originally gifting this for Christmas, but now that now that I've got going, I want it myself. <laughs> um, it's just cheap wool. It's like seventy five percent acrylic. I've dropped the ball. Uh, seventy five percent acrylic, twenty five percent wool. Because I thought if I'm knitting it. If I'm gifting it, I don't want the person that's receiving it to have to worry about hand washing and all that kind of thing. They can just machine wash it. It obviously can't be tumble dried, but um, yeah, they can just wear it as a normal jumper. But now I don't know, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, I didn't say what this was knitted in to, out of. This was um, Knit Picks, uh, Knit Picks Gloss Fingering. Uh, they were, it was knit on 3.75 needles and um, the contrast is a gradient wool and it's just a single ply. Um, it's Cascade Malella. I think I'm saying that right. Um, it's supposed to be knit in uh, like spin um, spin cycle but I unfortunately couldn't afford spin cycle so I just searched online for something that was a gradient so it goes from green to like a purple pink and then blue and then back to green again um, it is a crop jumper and there's also the pattern for it as a cardigan as well um, I have really long arms so I knit a 27 inch from the shoulder and it's just perfect and it has these little bobbles and I just love it <laughs> sorry if I, I'm sat right in front of the window because this has the best light uh, so sorry if I get blown out um, and it took me it took me two months which I was really proud of considering all the detail and that it's fingering weight um, I knit it on the train to and from work and then in the evenings um, and yeah I'm so pleased with it <laughs> um, the other whip that I currently have is um, Cubetra shawl and this is is a one skein shawl I had a, I bought this um, from Fiber Fox, um, and I just loved the colours. And I thought, what can I knit? Because it's really soft, and it didn't feel like it would be good for socks. Although it probably would be. I can't remember what the fiber content was it is oh it's merino sock yarn so it would have been fine for um and that's let's see where it is. so it would have been fine for socks but um i thought yeah, it's too nice for socks to be hidden away in shoes so and then I'm just uh, losing some stitches here. Um, so yeah, I thought I was searching for a one skein um, object, one skein project. And I uh, came up, found this on Ravelry. Uh, I actually saw it first on Pineapple Yarns podcast. Um, Marina made it and I thought it was cute 
You're supposed to finish at 25. Oh, I thought I'd drop, any, just thought I'd drop stitches in. 25 of these little, they're supposed to be cubes, but they kind of look like leaves. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so you're supposed to stop at 25, but I've still got all that left. And I think I've done, oh my God. Right, what has happened? There we go. Um, I think I've got about 27 now. So I'm just gonna keep going until I play Yarn Chicken. Um, oh, I didn't show you my little podcast keeper. So this is a little mince pie. <laughs> and this is one of mine that I made. And it's very cute. In the spirit of Christmas and all that. And what else do I have here? The obligatory sock. Um, which is King Cole Zigzag in the colorway Sonata. It's 75% uh, superwash and 25% nylon. And I'm knitting these on 2.25s. Um, I started these quite a while ago. In the summer, I think. <laughs> And then I started knitting this and then I moved on to that and then it was just a whole load of other things. So uh, I've not really done any on these for quite some time. Uh, this is the wool. I was knitting two at a time and then I realized that I didn't have the foot of a giant. For some reason, I think I cast on 64. I think I'm on 64. And for some reason, I did 64 each side. So 128 stitches, like who has a foot that wide? <laughs> so anyway, that was that. So um, I then gave up. Well, I didn't actually, because I carried on knitting this. I had to unpick this one, start this one again, and then got to there and then gave up. But I'm sure I'll pick it up again at some point. Um, you might be able to, in fact, you will be able to see my spinning wheel in the background just there. Um, it's an Ashford Elizabeth and I started spinning this year. I'd always had this inkling in the back of my mind that I wanted to learn to spin and go from fleece to jumper. I just think it would be amazing to be able to do that. And living in Manchester, I, no, I just never really followed it through. So when we moved here um, and my neighbor's mum uh, gifted me a fleece uh, when I said that I was um, a knitter and I'd love to be able to spin. So she gifted me a fleece. So then it was Operation Find a Spinning Wheel. And this one, so I was searching, 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 and um, then I found this one on a on Gumtree, and it was a really good price. It was over on the west coast of Scotland, so it was a three-hour drive from here. And yeah, so that was the start of a new obsession. So I started just watching YouTube videos and trying to master the art of spinning. Um, and I kind of got there, but then I saw that the um, there was a spinning class that I could take um, over at, um, well, it's like half an hour from here. So uh, I enrolled in that and I started there in September. Um, and it's great. So it's every Wednesday morning and I'm learning so much. So I've been spinning quite a lot. I've got my first ever uh, skeins that I did on my spinning wheel. So it's still not perfect, but what's perfect? I'm just so pleased with it. And I think it's too nice to knit with. <laughs> I don't want to knit with it. It still, still smells sheepy. 
It's uh, this is Shetland. Um, it's still got some like vegetable matter in it, but that's all part of it. If your jumper doesn't have hay in it, then who are you? <laughs> um, yeah, so these are my first ever skeins that I made and plied, spun and plied on my Ashford Elizabeth. And I'm just, practice makes perfect. So I'm gonna keep going and then I'm gonna knit a jumper. I've already got the pattern lined up for it and it's not gonna be easy. It's got a lot of cabling and things going on but it, it's beautiful and I can't wait to knit it. The next thing that I have been doing recently in spinning is blending. So I made some sample skeins of Shetland and alpaca. This was our homework. Uh, we had to, uh, we got given some alpaca and some Shetland and had to, um, pff, fibers in my face, had to blend it. So we go from 100% Shetland to 25% alpaca, 75% Shetland, and then 50-50, uh, yeah, 50-50. So 50% alpaca, 50% Shetland. Then 75% Shetland, 25% alpaca. And then 100% alpaca. And it's so soft. What's the matter, Poppy? You can't have them. He just wants to eat them for some reason. Top tip, if you um, make plastic cards, so this is just a milk bottle, a plastic milk bottle cut up, you can then write on it in uh, Sharpie and then you can wash and set your skein, which then um, this doesn't wash off. So you can set, so like I made all of these and then labeled them and then washed them um, and then I still know which is which. I mean, you can probably tell with the color gradient, but yeah. So that's that. Um, I have a few stitch markers on Etsy. Um, these are my latest ones so we have beans on toast and because I'm in Scotland we've got the uh, iron brew and these are uh, these are currently on sale in Etsy the iron brew has been pretty popular um, you can sell it you can you can buy them as sets of two three or a singular I also have a Crumpet. <laughs> I've got a gingerbread man, a gingerbread house, all the uh, little Christmas ones. So we've got a Santa hat, and we have a candy cane. And oh, and the mince pie, which is here, which has little like, glittery bits on it. These are all polymer clay, um, and all handmade by me. So yeah, they're just some little things that I have in Etsy, which is at House Label Fibers. Um, what else? Things that I have been... Oh, things that I want to spin. So I have, sorry for the crinkling. I have some baby alpaca tops. 
Look how beautiful is this? It is so soft. Oh my God. It's like little baby kittens. It's beautiful. And I also have some camel, some camel top, which um, is still really soft. Oh. It's really soft. So this uh, was given from my spinning lesson. She just gives us random fibres to try. But I've not tried any of that yet because it's too nice and I want to keep it forever. Um, I recently was picked to be a test knitter. Dun, 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 dun. My very first test knit, which is due on the 1st of January. So that's why I'm rushing to get the weekend done because I was selected on. Friday, I think. Um, and I was recently in Ireland, travelled all the way to Ireland and then bought West Yorkshire Spinners, uh, Blue Face Leicester. <laughs> um, but it's DK and the pattern that I'm testing calls for Aaron or Thicker. And I'm, I did a bit of a swatch earlier. Um, I've not got it because I then unpicked it. I don't want to waste, I want to use it every last inch. Um, but I held it, I held this double and I think that would be probably the perfect gauge. But then it's costing twice as much to knit a jumper. So I thought, what if I held it with brushed alpaca? Or like a mohair? Um, so I've ordered some brushed alpaca, some drops brushed alpaca um, in the, like a similar, I hope it's like a similar colour, it won't really matter. So it'll probably just have a bit of a, a halo. But I'm hoping it will make this thicker, but we'll have to see. So I ordered that today, so it should arrive next week at some point. Um, but I've got six skeins of this, and this is 224 metres. So there is quite a lot of yardage in it. There are 100 grams, and so soft. Um, and the pattern calls for 600 metres. So, but obviously that's just a guide. And so, I mean, I've got more than enough of this, but I'm just worried that if I held it double, it's just a lot of wool and it's quite expensive. So, yeah. So I've ordered that. So we'll see what happens when that comes next week. Hopefully I've finished the weekend up by the time that arrives, because as soon as that arrives, I will want to cast this on, cast this on, um, because it is really nice. I can't wait to do my first test knit. I have some acquisitions. Recently went to the Isle of Skye, and you have to go to Shillister when you're in the Isle of Skye. It's just such beautiful, beautiful wool. Um, it's 75% Blue Face Leicester and 30% Shetland. It is, this is natural. This is Madder. And this is Alder. Um, so they're naturally dyed and they're just so squishy. So I'm excited to knit with them. I just bought them. I don't know what. I don't have anything planned. Probably a hat or something. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, 
I'm thinking at this stage I will do one of these a month, but we'll just see how it goes on. So I'm hoping next month I will have quite a bit to show you. I still won't have my test knit. Oh, I forgot. I knit. So I don't have them. That's why I forgot. But I knit my niece. It was her birthday. And I knit her some mittens. Um, and these were the mittens. Can you see that? So, yeah. She, uh, she got them and she loved them. They are, oh, what's happened now? Why have I gone really blown out? I don't know. I'm recording this on my phone. Um, they are a paid for pattern on uh, Ravelry, um, but they were really fun to knit and they didn't take me that long to knit either. Um, yeah. <laughs> so hopefully I didn't come across too awkward in this. Uh, sorry if I did. I know I say uh a lot when I'm uncomfortable. So apologies now if that was annoying. I am going to go and check on the fire because I lit the fire before I came up here and hopefully I've not burnt the house down. And my husband is currently chopping wood. How primitive of us. <laughs> but the joys of living in Scotland. So, yeah, that's that. So check me out on uh, House Label Fibers on Instagram if you want to see what I'm up to. And um, I'm also on Ravelry, House Label Fibers. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye.